gonna try and snipe a building. Yeah. Oh, and just like that. Just like that. Just like that. And we're gonna snowball. It'll push the doctor to the other lane. And doc, just like that, doctor's in the wrong lane. Nice, nice. That's huge for us. Ew, what is up gamers? It's Jerky here, and today we're gonna be using one of the most underrated decks in the entire meta. Hog Rider Cycle? Never heard of him. It's all about this 2.9 Elixir Balloon Cycle deck. Featuring the new and improved Evolved Musketeer. Balloon Cycle decks used to be a really common deck archetype maybe like six or seven seasons ago prior to the dominance of Evolutions. Then following the introduction of Evolutions, this deck kind of fell out of the meta. But now that the Evo Musketeer can snipe your opponent's tower from across the map, this deck is back, baby. There is even someone inside the top 10 in the entire world that is cooking people with this Balloon Cycle deck. So if you're someone like me who likes faster cycle decks but likes the power and the punch of a balloon hitting the tower, then this is the deck for you. And even though you aren't rocking a big spell, once you get the tower within four or 500 HP, you can just cycle minor snowballs on the tower and it's basically the same as a big spell. And on top of that, because this deck boasts an incredibly fast 2.9 elixir cycle, it's really easy for you to outcycle your opponent's best balloon counters. So I am ecstatic to show you all how to cook your opponents with this deck, but don't take my word for it because as we know, talk is cheap. So I know the anticipation is killing you, so let's hop into our first match right now. All right, into our first match of the video. I haven't played Balloon in a minute. I know Balloon used to be really popular, and I feel like now we really only see it in Law Balloon. So it's nice that we're gonna see it in a different style of deck. He just opens up with a really aggressive Ram Rider and a Bomber behind it. So I'm pretty happy that I, I had my Bomb Tower and Cycles, really easy defense there. All right, so it looks like he's gonna be ro rocking the Ram Rider Bridge Spam. Honestly, not surprised, super popular deck. We're gonna go like this. And uh, if he pops the ability, he's gonna get a little bit of damage. I think in this situation, I just wanna protect my Musketeer. We're gonna go like this. If he does pop the ability, I would think that that's an overextension, at least in my opinion, I think that's a bit of an overextension. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Miner and we're gonna go Balloon. And because he overextended, I think we're gonna get some damage here. I don't know how much damage, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be getting damage. I don't wanna go for the snowball because I don't wanna overextend. This is already gonna get two shots and I'm gonna take that. So you can see how good this deck is at punishing people for overextending, just like that. My opponent overcommitted. I knew it as soon as he popped the ability. I'm like, he's not gonna wanna do that. Okay, gonna eat this. I could have snowballed it. And in hindsight, it probably would have been better to snowball that, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna cycle my Musketeer to get to my Evo one. Um, sometimes this deck runs a lightning, um, so I'm just kind of feeling it out as well. Maybe hold lightning this depending on the, the variation of the deck that he's running. A general theme with this deck is protect your Musketeer. Your Musketeer is oftentimes your best way of defending really, really large pushes. Barbarrel on this side. Okay, he does pop the ability. Barbarrel plus Bomb Tower gonna do a really good job. I wanna try and keep my Bomb Tower healthy because then it will dissuade him from going for a Ram Rider. At least a lot of the times that's the case. So we're gonna snowball on all of this. And just like that, if he if he goes in for a Ram Rider, we can cycle back to a, a Bomb Tower really fast. So really good defense there. Recruits can be kind of difficult to defend, but from what I've seen, he doesn't really have great air defenses. So I like that. And if he does go for like a Ram Rider or something on the balloon, we can try and snipe it with a Musky. So let's go ahead and go like this. I'm actually gonna go like this to try and snipe that flying machine. You can see it's actually gonna get taken care of. That Musketeer just took out that entire flying machine. How crazy is that? That's actually disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna go Miner Balloon, and I think he just, he loses, because he has to Rage on that side, and he can't stop this Balloon, I don't think. At least I'd be pretty surprised. And on top of that, we're just destroying this guy's, ah, uh, I forgot about the Goblinstein ability. Nope, can't stop it, I was right. And again, protecting our Musketeer, that's gonna be Tower Down. And our cycle is so fast, he can't out, he can't out cycle our Bomb Tower. We're gonna go Snow Boy here just to take care of this. Musketeer just obliterating this man's push. So if you are tired of losing against Goblinstein, Ram Rider, Pekka, all of those super, super annoying decks, then this is definitely the deck for you. We're gonna go Ice Golem in the pool, everything over. Make sure that Flying Machine doesn't lock onto the tower. And honestly, really easy win. Well played to us. We're going to hold that W, and I'll catch y'all in the next match. All right, into our next match against L. And something else that might incentivize you to try this deck is it actually is kind of similar to Log Bait. I know a lot of you might be like, what? It's similar to Log Bait. If you run Log Bait and you're used to having to protect your princess, having to outcycle your opponent's counters, you know, having to 
Having to play in that way, it is very similar. I know I'm not like this playing in it super well, but trust me, it's pretty similar to log bait, just in the fundamentals, not obviously in the wind condition, but a lot of the things that you do with log bait are parallels. Okay, I'm gonna go like this to protect my um, musky. And I mistimed that, so she's gone, but that's it's it's all good. Let's go balloon here. And uh, depending on what he plays, I might snowball. I might not. Yeah, he goes Ram Rider, so I'm just gonna let it go. Um, Ram Rider, one of the best counters in the game to the balloon, which is weird because it's not like meant as a balloon counter. Uh, but it does pretty good. We don't even get death damage there, so that's unfortunate for us. Uh, oh, we do get death damage. So he's running Ram Rider. What are the odds? Ram Rider. Even after the balance changes, I think is still pretty broken. They nerfed the amount of damage she does, but they didn't nerf how easily she gets on the tower, which I feel like was kind of the issue. So, kind of unfortunate, you know, coming out from Supercell's end, I, I feel like they didn't really address the problem in the way that we would have liked, but it's all good. Okay. I, like I said, always musketeer protection, right? And we failed, and that's going to cost us. Yeah, I, I should have been like a little more ready for the fisherman, and that's on me. He's gonna go in with the ram rider probably. Oh, he goes with the mega knight. It's interesting. I don't know if I agree with that to be honest. Okay, let's go skeleton surround here. Okay, I don't think I need to play anything else. Wow, yeah, that proved to be a really oh. We're gonna get King Tower activated, and we're gonna be okay. That was a really weird series of events. Both of us, just, both of us just played that very unorthodox. To be completely honest. I'm going to go balloon here. I know we can go Ram Rider. That's going to be okay. We're actually just going to last second snowball. King Tower activation going to help out a lot. He goes for the fireball. We're going to eat a little bit of Ram Rider damage. But he's going to eat one balloon shot. So just like that, we're back in this game. Oh, two? No, almost two. But that's fine. All right. We're going to reset. I need to do a better job of protecting my musky. We're going to go in for some minor chip. Cool. Yep, no point in playing anything on those. We're just going to let it go. Take our damage and move on. Mega Knight. We're going to go like this. Barbaro to pull it back. And I think I want to DPS down this Mega Knight. I would have liked to use my Musketeer offensively, but in this situation, I think it's okay. Okay. He takes the Fireball on the Musky. I think that's fine. Okay. Mm. Alright, this is going to get decent damage. Yeah, I'm like, my man really needs to play something on that. Okay. Just gonna go snowball here, Evo Skeletons to force out the ability as well. We know he has a fireball. So he's gonna have to use the ability. Perfect. Decent defense in that situation. Musketeer gonna kinda save us. And we're gonna keep cutting this over. Then we can just go skeletons and snowball to push all of this back. Nice, really good defense in that, that uh, situation. And our cycle is so fast, so I don't really have to worry about him out cycling us in that in that manner. Okay. I'm going to do this just to force out Elixir from him. We kind of survived, you know, the onslaught of pressure that he applied. He's probably just going to pop a Mega Knight on it or something. He actually goes Fisherman. So this might be a good time for us to go in. I think I'm going to do this because he has to overspend like that. We're going to go Musketeer. And he can't stop this because he just spent a Mega Knight. He can go for like a last second Ram Rider. Well, he goes for a snowball, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to stop the balloon from getting a hit on the tower. So that's really huge. Two shots, and that's going to be a good game. So way to not panic in that situation. I know he didn't play it perfectly, but I was waiting for my time to strike. He overextended on the left. Perfect balloon timing. We'll hold that W. Catch you in the next match. Into our next match of the video against this player. After that grueling five-minute match against Expo, like, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. All right, we're going to split skeletons here. Good to know that he's running Cannoneer. Not necessarily that great for us, but it is what it is. I'm fine cycling my Musketeer early. Like, even if he's running Lava, like, I have such a fast cycle, we're going to be able to get back to another one relatively quick. Okay, Cannon Cart comes down. Looks like it might be, like, there's a really popular Mortar deck that's going around, so I think it's going to be Mortar. I'm going to, I think he's going to go for, like, a Goblin Gang or something around on the Musketeer. Ah, bats make, make sense. Okay, we're going to go Bomb Tower here to help clean up the gang. I was almost right. Maybe he would have gone Gang if he added in Cycle. Shouldn't have to spend anything else on this, um, hopefully. I'm nervous about it, so I'm going to go Miner. I don't want any chance of the Cannon Cart locking on, honestly. Yeah. Better safe than sorry, especially with the cannon cart. It's such like a like a cheeky card. You never know if you make like one small mistake if the cannon cart's gonna lock onto the tower. All right, we're gonna cycle our musky. Perfect timing with him going for the skeleton king. Still feels like a mortar duck to me. So we're gonna be ready for the mortar. And indeed it is mortar. Um, I'm curious if I can snipe that with something. I might try to. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this. Try and snipe that, get it off the board. 
And then now he has to spend on the evil skeletons, and now he doesn't have bats. So no bats in hand. All he has is this gang. If I snowball the gang, we're going to get some damage, nearly. Look, that musketeer's still alive. And just like that, boom, one balloon hit. Wow, he actually has a lot of air counters, so I don't love that. Uh, but that was still a really good sequence of events, especially with him going for the defensive mortar. In the future, we can try and snipe it with the musketeer. So we're going to keep that in mind. Or if he just goes for an offensive mortar, we can also snipe it with the musketeer, and it's not a bad play. I definitely wanted to have one game where I just, like, outright snipe it. Okay, we're going to go like that. I don't really have a better play, unfortunately. We're going to go skeletons early, and then go for a minor. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go like that. Boom, take care of the mortar. Bang, bang, bang. Beautiful. <laughs> that is so disgusting. Like, it just is. It's such a crazy play. I want the same thing. I want to protect the musketeer from the cannon car. We're gonna go high ice golem. Look at the protection. Beautiful protection for the musky. Okay. And mortar goes down, and we're already back to another musketeer. The evil musketeers are, like, the key to this deck, and the key to the matchup, I feel like, is... Getting as much value as possible from your Evo muskies. Okay. I'm gonna go Bar Barrel. Don't know if it's like that great of a play, but I don't really have another play. Okay. And gonna go Ice Golem, and then go for a Low Musketeer. Okay. Evo Skeletons are gonna be great here. He goes for the arrows. He knew I was gonna go Skeletons or something like that, but we're good. He went for the Evo Mortar defensively, which like I don't know if I agree with, but guess I don't really know how to play this matchup from the mortar side of things. We're going to go like this. And once again, we're going to protect our Evo Musky. I'm going to try and snipe the cannon cart here. And unfortunately, we get the goblin instead, but that's okay. All right. This cannon cart is actually just going to die out. So we're going to start going for minor snowballs here. He tries to snipe my musketeer, and he does, but we're just going to be back to another one. You almost always want to cycle a musketeer as soon as you have one in cycle in this matchup. At least that's what it feels like. Goes for his first offensive mortar in a minute. Can't say that I blame him. I feel like he needed to go on the offensive at one point or another. Okay. Uh, that musketeer just gets obliterated by the mortar. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We're going to go like this. Just trying to be a menace and then go for a minor. We also have evil skeletons in hand. I'm going to predict a gang. Okay, he doesn't go gang. He goes cannon cart, but either way, cannon cart falls. This is a good snowball as well. And we're back to a bomb tower. I feel like if we don't get too antsy, we're going to be fine in this matchup. I can start cycling minor snow, cycling minor snowballs onto the tower. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, gets a small lock. That was a misclick. I didn't mean to go Evo Skeletons. All right. Let's relax here. It's a lot of spam down, so we need to be calm, cool, and collected. Protect our musketeers if we can. Okay, Ice Golem here. We're not as worried about the Evil Mortar. I mean, if the Evil Mortar gets a little bit of damage, it's okay. Because we have, we have a really big lead. He just ignores that Miner, and he just goes all in. So I know that looked crazy, and that looked really overwhelming, but it actually was a pretty def decent defense, other than the Mortar getting, like, a decent lock on my tower. Miner Snowball is going to end the game, so GG's there. Things got a little crazy in Triple Elixir. Um, but that was a good game. Net-net, I'm happy how we played it. So GG's, we'll hold the dub, and I'll see you in the next match. And our next match against this player... And it's funny because in that last match, it's almost like Balloon gets no value. Something you need to realize about your deck, your deck, and this deck, and a lot of decks, is sometimes you need to shift to like what I call a secondary win condition. So in that in that matchup specifically, I knew I wasn't going to break through with Balloon, and so I switched. I'm like, okay, I'm going to defend. I'm going to go in when I can with Miners and uh, get as much chip on the tower as I can, uh, if that makes sense. So we're going to go Ice Golem here. It actually does really well against the Witch. Um, skeletons as well. Boom. Okay. All right, not bad. Minor witch, or minor witch, giant witch, kind of like a basic deck, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're going to go minor here, and then we're going to predict, like, skeletons or something. Oh! Oh, Mega Knight. Mega Knight, nice. Okay, well, we're going to do the oldest defense in the book, which is just an ice golem kite. We're going to go evil skeletons here as well, uh, just to clean all this up. Okay. I don't know about those arrows. I mean, I know he's going to get damage on the tower, but I don't know if that was the move. I guess he can probably defend this pretty easily nonetheless. So we're going to go Miner once again. And Snowball here. And perfectly timed. Now look at the musky. Oh, look at the musky. Look at the musky. Bang! Nice. Okay. So yeah, he's playing some sort of like beatdown deck. 
Uh, Spear Goblins as Air Defense. Snowball gets a ton of value against Spear Goblins. And he also does have the Witch, so... If he drops the Witch, I might, like, try and snipe it. But I'm not sure how that'll work with the Skeletons. Alright, we're gonna try not to get caught out by a giant Evo Bomber. I know he's gonna try and get some, like, some dirty Evo, Evo Bomber lineup. We won't allow such a thing. We're gonna go Bomb Tower. He actually eats two, or one shot from the Barbarian. Don't know if I agree with that. There's gonna be a big push from him. I, I will actually use the Musketeer to just DPS down the Giant. Uh, you know, I don't want to mess around with this push. And Ice Golem's going to do great against the Witch. We're going to wait here and delay the Snowball because he's going to go for the Arrows. And then we can Barbar on the Witch. Nice. Pretty clean defense, Net Net. We didn't take that much damage. He could go for, like, a Bomber here if he wanted to. Okay, now he doesn't have the Evo version. Let's go like this. Just to be annoying. No, no other reason other than to be a nuisance. And be a nuisance it will be. Nice. Okay gonna cycle a snowball here okay miner here to protect Ooh, okay we need to be really careful here we need to pull this all to the middle and then go like this the ice golem actually does really good against the minion horde snowball as well and that was kind of like a desperation push you could kind of feel it and he said i could kind of feel it like he felt the need to do all that like he was kind of antsy i totally forgot he had meganite until this exact moment nice such a weird, 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 weird deck. But this might be similar to a deck that you guys have to face. So, you know. Okay, we're gonna go like this here. Evil Megan Meganite is still wreaking havoc on my tower, unfortunately. We're gonna go Miner here. And see if we can get one of these onto the tower. I'm gonna snowball this away. And maybe nice. Forced out the arrows. He actually got a ton of damage with that Evil Meganite push, so... Well played to him. I need to be careful because he's kind of inside of spell cycle range. Okay, we're going to go like this to pull over the entire minion horde. It's a very expensive card, so very good for us. I think at this point it's time for me to go in for a balloon because he's probably going to go kind of crazy with like a giant. So we're going to do this. Bar bear here so we don't take damage. Save snowball because he might go for like a last minute barrel. And he's going to go for a minion horde as soon as he can afford it. So we're going to go ice golem and snowball. He tried to juke our snowball, which I respect. And we're going to give him the good game. He tried to juke the snowball, but I didn't. I ended up cycling it on offense. GG's. We'll hold the W. See you in the next match. Into likely our last match of the video against this player. I've had a lot of fun playing this deck, but I feel like some of the matches have gone a little longer and I don't like to make the videos too long, like 20 minutes kind of seems like the sweet spot. So if you've made it this far, just know how much I appreciate you watching and supporting the channel. I mean, it, it really does mean the world to me. So thank you. Looks like we might be up here against 2.6. Sit, oops. Interesting. Wow, what a start for your boy, huh? Wow, okay, well that's a crap ton of damage, unfortunately. So we're going to kind of be aggressive here because I can double pressure both lanes, which is nice. I know he has NATO, so maybe he's going to go for like a last second NATO or something, but peep the right side as well. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Man just went hyper aggressive at the beginning and just kind of got destroyed for it. So I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't feel like that is something that you'll maybe run into too often, but or maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it is. I, I, I just don't know. I'm going to be aggressive here as well. Maybe on the chance that he gives up. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the play. He didn't give up either. <laughs> That's okay. He's a damage. I know he has the marcher. If this dash is onto the tower, then we can go... Okay, let's go like this. The ice golem will actually do really good at taking care of the evil skeletons. Beautiful. Okay, that's what we wanted. All right, so hyper aggression by me gets punished. No surprise. Let's go like this to pull back. Like if he plays like a spirit or something. You know what I mean? Because I know he has Ice Spirit. Nice. Okay, we first out the log. That's cool. So we really shouldn't lose from this position. Like, even if we lose one tower, we're going to be okay. So I'm going to ride it out because I thought that this man was going to give up. But it's all good. We just need to watch out for the Marcher. We need to watch out for the Tornado. Uh, he clearly didn't have enough Elixir to defend the Balloon. But I don't anticipate going for too many more Balloons this game. doesn't really seem like it will yield me much value. But I will go ahead and snipe this from downtown and by... That's crazy. And she still got one more bullet in the chamber, which is absolutely bonkers. Okay. Golden Knight Dash comes down, which is fine because um, it's not going to chain onto the tower, which is great. Okay. Like this. Bang, bang, bang. And just like that, threat neutralized. Threat is neutralized. Okay. Thinks he outcycled me? Nope, I don't think so. Making sure he can't get a marcher line up on the tower that he wants to, so that's perfect. 
Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. That's really what I need to be careful of, is, is the marcher lineup in this situation. More than anything, Ice Golem gonna walk away, and yeah, not a, not honestly, not that big of a threat. I feel like this guy just played hyper-aggressive at the beginning and like, I don't know, didn't expect us to be able to do anything about it. I'm not entirely sure. Ice Golem locked. We're gonna pressure with the balloon. If he doesn't defend this, he's gonna lose his entire tower. So GG's to BSJB, um, honestly. I'm gonna play one more, because that wasn't that satisfying. We'll see you in the next match into our last match of the video that last one doesn't count that last one doesn't count it was a little unorthodox i didn't really like it i want like a good clean win to round out the video okay i'm actually gonna go musketeer i know it's like kind of a crazy play but uh i really want to cycle to my evo so i'm gonna do this risk giving him a good poison and um have a little bit of a counter push yeah it's not a big deal we spent six we're up to elixir but it helps cycle all right we're gonna cycle our skeletons as well and just go for an Ice Golem at the bridge. Miner over here to keep that off of our tower. Alright, so he's going to be running Goblin Drill. Kind of annoying, because Goblin Drill usually has two really good answers for the uh, Balloon. Because it has two buildings. So, kind of annoying. Bomb Tower should take care of all of this, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. He makes up the, the Drill placement, though. But even so... Come on, Bomb Tower. Beautiful. Okay, let's go like this. And we already have our Evo Musketeer next, so... Um, let's see if he eats this. No, he doesn't. Wisely. Wisely doesn't eat this. Okay, the next time I go for a balloon, I think I'm going to try and snipe whatever building he has. And uh, try and catch him off guard. Alright. Let's take care of this pesky bomber. He actually protects it. I, I mean, I guess. I don't know. I guess that was a decent play. I'm not entirely sure. Miner's going to do okay. We're going to do Evo Skeletons to help it out. And if he, if he poisons uh, Evo Skeletons Miner, like, I don't really care. That's fine with me. Okay, we're going to do the thing. We're going to try and snipe a building. Yeah. Oh, and just like that. Just like that. Just like that. And we're going to snowball. It'll push the Doctor to the other lane. And Doc, just like that, Doctor's in the wrong lane. Nice. Nice. That's huge for us. The question is now, can we uh, defend? We'll see. We're gonna eat a lot of damage here, but I like I still think it's worth it. I still think it's worth it. That was a super awesome play. Wow, we were so ready to snipe that building. That was a really nice sequence of events for us. We still need to defend the Goblin Drill and watch out for the Evo Bomber, but as long as we do that, we're gonna be okay. The Evo Bomber is definitely the enemy in this situation. Okay. That's fine. Again, like this, is gonna be okay. Musketeer low, like in the corner. He just takes the poison, that's fine. We're gonna Ice Golem to pull all of this away. And he's gonna be back to another drill because he has the, the Doctor down. But this is gonna be fine. Skeletons are gonna do a decent job, I think. Snowball like this, and I need to predict the Evo Bomber. Yeah, like I said, I knew that was pretty obvious. It was pretty obvious that he was gonna go for that, to be honest. It, it made the most sense. It was really his like his new win condition became the evil bomber. So really, really well played to us. That's not an easy matchup. I know we made it look good, but we only got that because we had that really good sequence. So great match to end the video. We'll catch you in the outro. And that is going to do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time in case you want to take a screenshot and try it yourself. I will also put the link to this deck in the YouTube description as well. So you can just open it inside of the app and it's really easy. Give this deck a try. It's so fun and it's actually really strong. I will say it is one of the harder decks to use. So don't be discouraged if you get stomped your first match. I mean, sometimes there's a bit of a learning curve and this deck definitely has quite a large learning curve, but I promise it's worth it. And I promise it'll make you a better player. And thank you so much for watching. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. And I really hope to see you back in another video real soon. Peace.